tickets. Here we go. Shinji-san of Sigma Corporation was kind enough to pick me up and guide me through my journey to Sigma's factory at Aizu, located four hours away north of Tokyo. Our bullet train arrived just in time and the dedicated cleaning service personnel had only a few minutes to prepare it for our long journey. Two hours and several cups of black coffee later, we are ready to change trains, but not before stopping to have a quick lunch that turned out to be the best vegetarian soba I've ever had. Fifteen minutes later and we are on the local train which leaves the station only once in an hour. When we finally see Mount Bandai or Bandai-san in the Japanese language, I know that we are getting closer to our final destination. This active Vulcano mountain is a source of pride for the local community. I'm Johnny, nice to meet you. Another 10 minutes of a smooth ride and the Sigma factory was suddenly there in all of its industrial beauty. A place which I dreamt of visiting already as a child when I first saw my late father using the lenses on his Yashica camera. Hello. I think I'm ready to go. Yamaki-san. I first met Yamaki-san a few years ago. His unique managing style makes him a respected person even among his competitors. When my father founded the company, he didn't want to be the dictator or strong company owner. He wanted to be more harmonized the company. So Sigma means the summation, right? So he wanted to the company with the summation of people's power, people's knowledge, people's experience, people's wisdom. So that's the, uh, the meaning of the Sigma, uh, Sigma's name. So many lenses, so many components. How do you keep track of everything? It looks like millions and millions of parts. Actually, uh, we, do not, uh, we do not rely only on the computer system. If we try to make the perfect computer system to uh, manage all the small components, it will be a huge system and it may not work very uh, uh, nicely or with the harmony. So uh, we use a computer system uh, to control the production, but also the, the communication between the staff is a key uh, to streamline the, the production. Talking about computers, of course I saw some very modern machinery, but I saw some older machinery, your people prefer to work sometimes with mechanical than uh, modern uh, machinery? Uh, there are two reasons to keep uh, such uh, older machines. The first uh, thing is that uh, it's more efficient in some cases. For example, if we process uh, uh, simple parts or if we uh, process the parts for very few uh, uh, small numbers, like the parts for prototype or toolings, the such an old simple uh, machine works quite uh, frequently more efficient than the modern big machines. The second reason is that such an old machine can train the young workers uh, very efficiently. I mean, uh, with those machines, uh, old machines, young worker, uh, young staff can learn the basics of the process uh, from the beginning. While touring, I saw that all the machinery, everything is actually in blue. Why? That is uh, my father's preference. My father wanted to paint all the machine in blue. Just one time, one of the section managers purchased a uh, machine and placed it as the original color. 
I guess I remember it was uh, white. My father was so upset and uh, asked uh, the section manager to paint it blue. So himself? No, 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 uh, our, uh, to have the supplier paint in blue, in our uh, standard color. He does not uh, want the factory just used as a kind of money generator, but the nice place for the people to work for. That's uh, my father's dream. I felt it's a very much family type company. I mean, you, you know the people by name, you know the people by faces. Actually, I think we saw even one of the oldest workers here. How long is he working here? He worked for us nearly 45 years. 45 yes. years. So he knows me since I was maybe five years old or something. Yamaki-san, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it.